everybody. I'm back with my Goodwill haul and a bead haul. So uh, the Goodwill haul is very small. I didn't get very much this week. Everything was 50% off. This scarf was 99 cents. So I only paid 50 cents. And it's a very pretty little scarf. Very light. It's got a little bit of fringe on the bottom. Not much, but every little bit helps. And so it's this one. Isn't that a pretty color? I love that color. And then the other scarf I got was this one. This one is 100% silk. It's 99 cents. And it's beautiful. It's just a very light, airy scarf. I'll be able to use this with, uh, make some flowers out of it. It'll be very nice to twist. I can also sew with silk, so I can uh, cut strips and actually sew and make flowers that way also. The next thing I got was this stamp set. This one is from Stampin' Up! 2003. And look at the little teddy bears. Aren't they adorable? And this set does not look like it is ever used. It was $4.99, so I got it for $2.50. I don't think they use this at all. It doesn't look like it, but that's cute. And then this set, I really like this one. Uh, I'll probably keep this one. I'm going to give this other one away. Um, but this is the Western, the Wild West Alphabets. It's Stampin' Up! It was also $4.99, and this, this one may have been used, but I'm surprised it still has the original tape on it. And if I can get it open, I'll show you what they look like. They are double-sided. Ah. Uh, let's just pick this one, and that's, uh, that's the font. But isn't that a pretty font? And they're double-sided. So I really like this set. And I really don't think it was used. If they did, they maybe used one or two of the letters, and the rest they didn't. So that, and then one more thing. Uh, this really wasn't from Goodwill. This is from the auction I did the other day, but I forgot to show you. So I saved it for today. Now these are called needle books, and I use these when I, when I actually make a needle book to hold them, and they're vintage, and this is what they look like on the inside. Isn't that pretty? And some of these have needles, some of them don't, but I just love the advertising on them. They don't have dates. I looked. This whole stack, I've got and. About four or five here for ten dollars. This one they were selling for fifteen, but I didn't. Of course, I didn't pay that much. So this is the Woolworth needle book, originally sold for ten cents, and then this one is Piccadilly, and they were uh, selling this one for six dollars. That's the inside. These little squares have needles in them. There's one missing. Let's see inside of that one. Very cute. So I can't wait to make another needle book. Uh, I've been looking for these, but they've been so expensive to buy. This one is a beautiful rose. I've got two of these. One's a little different from the other. And this is the inside of this one. And I'm going to have to put a piece of paper or something here uh, because they are starting to rust and they've rusted over to this side so I want to stop that. They're still good. You can still use them in a needle book. This one's in a little bit better shape. And that's that one. And not all the needles are there but that's okay. They're vintage. They're not all supposed to be there even though I have found them with all the needles in it. And this one I love, the Army and Navy Needle Book. 
But look at the graphics on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is the back. Our beautiful eagle. And this is the inside. And there are the needles. And this side is missing, but that's okay. And so when you open these up, they open up like this. This is just a real nice tissue paper. And as you can see, the needles are gone on this side, on this little envelope. And let me see if I can find one that has some. Maybe all these are gone. Oh, here's one that has two needles. Let me hold them up. But this is how the ladies kept their needles. Okay, that's it for <laughs> my great big uh, Goodwill auction haul. And then I'm going to show you the beads that I got. Uh, and then after this video, I'll be doing a international haul. Uh, that might be for Sunday, though. So, the beads. I went to Dollar Beads. Let's see if I can pull up their address here. You can see dollar beads, and there's their uh, website, dollarbead.com. And I tried to write on all these ahead of time. So uh, these are Millie Fiore clay beads, these are the gray ones. I paid 25 cents a bag, and there are three, six, ten to the bag. These are 19 millimeters. They're very pretty pink flowers, Millie Fiore. And then I got this one. It's the same thing, same size, same price. Oh, no, the price is different. These were a dollar a bag. So, same amount. They're very pretty. These were a clearance. So they might have some left, so you might want to go check. So, I love these ones. Then I got... I might have to take some of these out of the bags. These were five for a dollar, but they're very beautiful. They've got roses in the center. It's very hard to see, but they're there. The glass beads. And then I love these. These were 24 by 18. They're called floral lamp work. They were 80 cents for three. And I thought, ooh, that's kind of expensive. <laughs> but they are very, very pretty. They're kind of like a teardrop. Aren't those gorgeous? About the same on the other side. These are all, they're all handmade. And then I got some tube shaped ones. These are Millifiori. This bag was 15 cents. And they are 12 by 6. And I believe these are clay also. And these are a very pretty um, pink bead. These were, oh, I forgot to write on this one. This one I might not have known. Okay, and you can't really see it, but there's little bumps on the glass. And there's a tube inside the glass. It's a pink foil tube. Very pretty. There's six in this bag. And then this one, I got two bags of this one. They're 20 millimeter. They're brown lamp work. They were a dollar for five. So that's about 20 cents a piece. And they're wavy. I just love them for a different texture. 
on the stick pins. These are good for charms too. You can charm these two bags of those. These are kind of unusual. They're a she uh, shell bead. They were 20 millimeters uh, and they are a uh, dollar for four. You can use that one for a charm also. Very pretty. There's some other pearl type shell. And then I got these. You can see these through the bag. These were a dollar. And there's three, five in the bag. Very cool. These were free. There's a matte and a shiny finish on these. Kind of like lava. Very cool. Aqua foil. These were 20 millimeters and there's five to this bag. It was a dollar. And this one is a blue pattern. That's what they called it. It's 20 millimeters and these were a dollar for five. Oops. Way off the camera on that one. These were 20 millimeters. There are five for a dollar. They were called pink lamp work. And they're beautiful bead. Very, very pretty. Those, I've got two bags of those. And then this one is called pink foil lamp work, five for a dollar. And it looks like I got uh, three sets of these. But these are just perfect for stick pins. Then the last bag, uh, these are a miscellaneous gold foil. And these were 1.5 ounces white crystals and they're called oh, they were a dollar for the box the bag and you got all this variety oh you got a heart a shell another heart just a different color oh a swirly one big round one square and another swirl so I had a lot of fun picking out these. I love uh, the dollar bead place. You can get a lot of beads for very little money. And the, the unusual. So all these beads. Let me get them in front of me here. Now you can't really see them. I got quite a few. All those beads. <laughs> came to... 2340 and that includes shipping so I'm real happy with these I've got a, a new supply of beads for stick pins and charms and all kinds of stuff so thank you everyone for coming in today and I hope to see you soon I'm going to work on one more video but it won't be until I put it up it'll be Sunday thank you guys love to all big hugs bye bye